<laughs> all right, it is a Thursday, and Thursday means we get to head into Hawaii's kitchen. All month long, we'll be featuring restaurants participating mm -hmm. in local delicious. You mm -hmm. had just met mentioned it a few minutes ago. We get more information on that yummy campaign and learn how to make a pineapple dessert from Chef Michelle Carr Uioka with MW Restaurant. At Ferguson Showroom for this week's Hawaii's Kitchen. We welcome in Chef Michelle Carr Uioka from MW Restaurant on Kapi'olani. Hello. Hello. We are so excited to have you to have you here. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. So what are we making today? Today we're gonna um, do a dish that's a tribute to my favorite dessert, uh, pineapple upside down cake. Mm -hmm. So but we call it Hawaiian Crown Pineapple Five Ways. Wow. That sounds complicated. No, it's no, not. No, it's not? <laughs> okay, well show us what uh, some of the ingredients are. Okay, so what we have here is we have a house-made pineapple chip. We also have pineapple ribbons, a pineapple vanilla uh, relish, and then we're going to be serving it up with a pineapple yogurt sorbet. That sounds great. Now, is it, is it, because it's a cake, is mm -hmm. it layers of stuff? So it's actually what it is. It's going to be a pineapple using Maui, a pineapple cake using Maui rum, and then we're going to serve it with a braised pineapple, and then we have beautiful pineapples with a Hawaiian hearts of palm panna cotta, and some Ma'o Farms lime that we use in the dish as well. All right. Now I am embarrassed to say that I do not know how to cut a pineapple. Will you help me with that? Oh yes, no problem. My stepfather worked for years at Maui Pineapple Company, and he's probably watching right now, cringing that I don't know how to cut a pineapple but why don't you show me okay so what we have here is our pineapple the first thing you want to do is to take off the crown which is sometimes always hard <laughs> especially on live <laughs> television if not then you can just cut it <laughs> cut it off okay okay and then what you can do is some people my grandma used to take the top and try and replant them oh because nothing okay. would be wasted in our house yes okay so then you're going to cut How the do you bottom. know when a pineapple is ready to pick or be eaten? Um, usually you can tell one by the color. Okay. It's really nice and yellow. We're very fortunate in the sense that our farmer picks the pineapples pretty ripe for us. They come straight from the field. Um, so it's already kind of, I don't want to say vine ripened, yeah. but you know, it's ripened on the plant. Um, but you can also tell by the smell. If you smell it close to the top, mm -hmm. you're going to smell the sugar. Okay, good okay. to know. All right, while you're cutting, uh, I'm, I'm guessing your pineapples are from Hawaii. It's all locally yes. grown. Okay. Good. Yes. Good. It's grown on the North Shore by uh, Kunia side. Okay. And the farm is Craig Bolden. So the first thing you want to do is after you take the top and the bottom off is the reason why is you want it to lay flat. Otherwise, if you leave the bottom, it may tend to slide. Then you're just going to take your knife and angle it at like a little bit 135 degree angle and just cut around. So it's like uh, I always tell people, it's like cutting Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, but in our next segment, you're going to actually be putting the ingredients together. Yes. And, and we'll get this cake started. Yes. I'm impressed, Trini. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> but uh, we're also going to learn more about Local Licious in the mm -hmm, campaign because, mm -hmm. like you said, more than 100 restaurants are participating. So if you buy or if you choose a menu item yep. uh, that has a little Local Licious mm -hmm, sign mm -hmm. on there, then a dollar will be donated and go to uh, public well, the, schools. The public school program where they're going to actually have kids to grow some of the local foods and dishes yes. in the schools and teaching the generations of tomorrow. So it's a great program. So big mahalo to all of the restaurants a that are participating. A great and delicious program. Yes. Win, win, win. Yes. All right. Well,